really nice to see you guys again tonight. And then hopefully you guys also has the same feelings, okay? Well, let's start the lesson for the day. Yeah, let me share the material that we're gonna talk about it today, which is still chapter 11, guys, okay. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys already uh, review a little bit. Maybe uh, today might be the last day for us to talk about this chapter. If we finish the uh, exercise, okay? I think we only have two exercises left and we should be able to finish that. All right. So, let's do the role, please, guys. Okay, I need some volunteers. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, let me assign this. Okay, I'll have one moment. Uh, Miss Fanny, huh? I have Miss Fanny's doing Jane's number one under number five. Okay, and then I'll have Nani. I try to give you guys a different part every week. That way you get to um, pronounce different conversation, different words. Okay. Nani. Nani is doing Jane's number five until number nine. Okay, Jennifer is doing Mary's number one until number four. Second one, Alicia, okay. Miss Lily is doing Leslie number one until number three. Adisha is doing Mary's dialect number five until number eight. Okay. Mr. Amin is doing Jane's number 10 until 11. Miss Fu is doing Leslie number four until number seven. And then JJ. JJ is doing uh, Leslie number eight until number 11. All right, uh, allow me to repeat again, okay? Miss Fanny is doing Jane's dialect number one until number five. Miss Lily is doing Leslie number one until number three. Jennifer is doing Mary's number one until number four. Nani is doing Jane's number six until number nine. Hadisha is doing Mary's number five until number eight. Miss Fu is doing Leslie number four until number seven. Master Amin is doing Jane's number 10 until number 15. And JJ is doing Leslie number eight num until number 11. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Allow me to unmute you guys. Good evening, Miss Susan. Good evening, Jane. Good evening, How Miss. Good evening. Did you guys have any rain yet? Yes, raining. Not really rain. in my place. Good evening, oh. Miss Susan. Good evening, Mr. Amin. Who who enjoyed the rain already today? 
Yes, raining. Yes. <laughs> raining. What city is that? Very good weather. Oh good my evening. god! How nice. Here is only a little sprinkle, less than five minutes, guys. Oh my god! It's a teasing for us. <laughs> good evening, Miss Susan. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Wu. Long time no see, huh? You've been busy, huh? Yes, Miss. I want to uh, say sorry with you. Because uh, uh, on last Monday, uh -huh. I cannot following your online lesson. Because uh -huh. I went to Tiribon City to visit my older sister for six in bed. Oh, so you went to visit your uh sister? Or the other sister, there? yes, yes. Mm, okay. Is she okay there? Did you guys have fun there? Yes, miss. <laughs> Very good. Okay, as long you you get to um like uh you uh I believe this is uh this review you guys can review this on the YouTube of New Normal Learning Center, right? Yes. So that way you can keep up with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Very man. good. Uh, it's it's good. Uh, it's good to have you back, though. <laughs> okay. Yes, All right, guys. So let me see. Uh, you have any other? You have question for me, Miss Fu? No. Okay. So. All right. Um. Already, uh, eight of you guys already been unmuted. So time is yours. Whenever you're ready, you start with uh Miss Penny. Yes, Miss. Lastly, may I borrow your cell phone to call my mother after we finish lunch? Yes, of course, Jane. And please do not forget to ask your mother whether. You may go to the movies with us afterwards. Jane, could you pass the salt, please? Sure. Here you are. And the pe paper, too, please. Thank you. You are welcome. Would bo both of you mind? If I stop by Marcus bookstore on our way to the movie? No, not at all. I would love I would love to look at their new book selection. So I would like to stop there also. Would put off you like to go shopping after the movie? Maybe some other time. I need to be home by 5 o'clock. I can go with you if you want. That would be great. I need to pick up a gift for my brother. His birthday is on Sunday, next week. What would you recommend, Mary? Yes, a moment, please. Let me maybe a fishing pole find the office of fishing what the clever suggestion my brother will thank me for the lovely gift I hope there is a fishing store in the mall I order it to many friends fries would Anybody care for some? Yes, I would like some. How about you, Mary? No, I no, thank you. I have enough food already. Leslie, would you like some of my friend's rice? Yes, please. Just a little bit. Here you go. Oh, that is enough. No more, please. 
Mary, did, did, did you remember to bring my my Harry Potter book? Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot about it. Told you for to remind me again tonight. I promise to let John borrow if after I get it back from Mary. You are welcome to have it once John is finished. John is a fast leader. Leader, he will finish it in no time. I, on the other hand, I'm a pretty slow reader. How do you think I may keep it? I uh, I already read it, so you may keep it as long as you want. Give it back to me at your earliest convenience. Thank you, Jen. That will save me some money. Are we uh, are we all done? We shall leave now to catch the next show. Otherwise, we will be left. I'm already I'm ready anytime you are. So am I, shall we go? Well, I'm so glad to them. So I started today. <laughs> Finally I can hear the uh this uh uh Jen's dialogue is I already read it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Amin. Yeah, finally, somebody pay extra attention, huh? Okay, very good. I already read it. Okay, remember, guys, never ever say, I already read it, okay? So that's uh, one word that you guys need to uh, remember for right now, okay? That's as... Uh, that I can remember, okay, that uh, the word uh, read, okay, where uh, I already read it, okay, guys. All right, so this little review, only one, okay, missed one, guys. James number seven. Okay, guys, so pay attention to this. My brother will thank me okay this thank here is a verb so there is no s okay there is no will thanks me okay uh okay uh so uh when you heard the word thanks okay that's um actually that is um uh the i i kind of like um i'm not well uh, well uh like this okay thank itself okay thank itself is a uh a, a fur okay so i thank my parents for raising me Okay, so when you use the thank, there's no S on it. Okay, I thank who? Like I, it's the same like when I, uh, the word give, I give her. Okay, so no, I gives her. Okay, especially when there is a auxiliary word verb here, uh, will. Okay, so uh, thank here, consider as a uh, verb. Okay. So there's another word that yeah, it says thanks, okay? Thanks is like, mm, mm, it's it's not a verb in that in that uh, context like that. So that's why we use as, that's like, uh, thanks is, uh, I believe, uh, as far as I can remember, that is the short way of saying uh, thank us. 
thank okay like you guys heard like thank god okay there is no thanks god okay thank god for friday thank god for friday okay so when you use thanks there is no uh doesn't follow by anything else like uh the like a uh, uh pronoun like that okay it's always like thanks for the gift okay or uh you don't say thanks so like this okay like see make sure that you understand that so when you use the word thank it's gonna be followed by the pronoun okay the object pronouns okay thank her thank god okay thank them okay so uh, so when uh, that's when you use the word thank now you have we have another word that's called thanks thanks for the food okay that's followed by the noun so uh thanks for the time okay so followed by a noun okay so like that and then remember uh, sometimes uh, I still uh, I I heard some people say thanks God. Okay, that's wrong because God there is a pronoun, so uh, doesn't the thank without s. Thank God for Friday. Okay, now uh, you say thank God instead of thanks God. Thanks followed by the uh, the. Thanks for blah, 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 like that. All right, so that's the a little bit explanation on that. So we finish all that. So let me, a little bit uh, explanation of this, okay. Uh, so in this chapter, we're learning about the um, contraction of the verbs, okay? And the other grammar that we're gonna learn after that is going to be auxiliary verbs, uh, or uh, sometimes it's called helping verbs. Dalam bahasa Indonesia nya adalah kata bantu kerja. Okay, in English, there are three main auxiliary verbs which are to be, have, and do, okay? And then we have all, those are the three main ones, okay? Beside that, we, there are lots like the, for the modal auxiliary verb, like can, could, okay, would, okay? Lots of that, that uh, I believe you guys already use it daily, okay? So often, okay? But the main one is to be, to be uh, con uh, to be consists of m is r with the past tense or was were okay and then the other one is have and do <clears throat> excuse my voice okay guys because uh i have a little bit runny uh, runny nose okay that's will and would those are the call um uh model auxiliary May and might, must, should, ought, let's. Okay, so we're gonna learn about it. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the exercise that we're gonna continue. All right, there you go. Okay, guys, so. Um, Last week we uh we were doing this exercise uh six huh, which we determine with the apostrophe s are used for what using for either uh uh is for not for has for has or have or for a possession okay 
And then you guys already answer number one until number seven. So let's continue with the rest of the exercises. Okay. So let me review a little bit to refresh your memory. Okay. Like here, number one, that's my sister. The apostrophe S stands for a is. And then my sister's friend in is in Finland. The apostrophe is for possessive adjective. My sister's got a new dress, that's for has. He's got a new book, that's for has. Christina's father likes opera, a possessive adjective. What's your address is for is. And then the dog's got a new water bowl, that's a has. Okay, now number eight. The dog's name is Bailey. Okay. What's the apostrophe S here stands for? All right. <clears throat> okay. I'll have um Shirley, huh? Shirley, try answer number eight for us, please. Okay. Hi, Shirley. Okay. Hello, Miss. Um, number eight. The dog's name is yes. Bailey. It's possessive adjective. The dog's name, the dog's okay, name so is Bailey. Mm -hmm. So that's for possessive adjective. Yes. Yes. So very good. I also with you. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you, Shirley. You, miss. Thank you, Miss. Welcome. Okay, now let's continue in number nine. The dog's black. The dog's black. All right, I'll have Linda try and answer number nine for us, okay? Hi, Linda. How's it going? Fine. So far, it's fine. Very good. The dog's black is. Very good. I also agree with you. Perfect. Thanks, Linda. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. The dog is black. Okay, guys. Perfect. Number 10. Anna hasn't got any pencil. Number 10, let's see. Who hasn't got their turn? I'll have Yusuf try answer number 10 for us. Anna has, hasn't got any pencil. Um, the answer is not. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, yeah. Yusuf. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so it has not. Next number, 11. There aren't any grapes in the basket. There aren't any grapes in the basket. All right. Okay. All right, let's have Nani try to answer number 11 for us, please. There aren't any grapes in the basket. Are not. All right, so it's a not. Yes, also agree with you. Perfect. Thank you, Danny. Yes. Right. So, they are not. Okay, next number 12. 
She isn't as tall as I am. She isn't as tall as I am. Number 12, I'll have Miss Lily. She isn't as tall as I am. Not. Not, yes. So she is not as tall as I am. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Miss Lily. Thank you, Miss. Welcome. Okay, oops. All right, next, number 13. I... I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Okay, let me see. Okay. Hmm. I'm a teacher. Okay. Well, well, well. Okay, this is kind of off here. Okay, let me see. This is supposed to be. Okay. I'm a teacher. Okay. Well, there isn't any uh, option for the I'm a teacher. Okay. So we'll pass on it. Okay. Now, number 14. We're happy when it's autumn festival. We're happy when it's autumn festival. Okay. Number 14. Huh? I'll have Miss Fu try number 14. Yes, Miss. We're happy when it's autumn festival. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, apostrophe S now. Nah. We're talking about apostrophe S. Yang koma atas ya bukan yang koma R E. Look. Apostrophe N T O S R R. Okay, so yes, the first one, you're talking about we are, huh? So it's are, and uh, what about this one? When it's, so there it's. are two apostrophe, huh? Yes. Are, and the other one is? Is. Okay, very good. Okay, so in that, uh, in that sentence, there are two apostrophe. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Miss Fu. Okay. Where is R? You're welcome. R is very good. Okay. Very good. R. Seconds. Okay. Okay, give me a second. Let's insert another one. Okay. Second. Just hold. Huh? Okay, number 15. We don't go to school because of COVID-19. We don't go to school because of COVID-19. JJ, please. We, we don't go to school because of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So apostrophe T. Do do not miss not not. Okay, very good. Also agree with you. Okay, okay very good. Thank you, JJ. Okay, I have to do it manually.
Next number 16. I've got lots of Legos. I've got lots of Legos. I'll have Mr. Amin try number 16, please. I have got a lot of Legos. I have. I have. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Amin, for paying extra attention for this week. You got that. Okay. I already read that. I'm so excited for that. Okay, thank I'm you. I'm waiting man. for that. Okay, very good. So I have in. Okay. I have, I have, I have. Yeah. All right, number 17. My dad doesn't work in a school. My dad doesn't work in a school. Number 17. Jennifer, please. My dad doesn't work in a school. Um, does not. Not yes. Very good. Thanks, Jane. Welcome, Miss. All right. So apostrophe s uh, and uh, apostrophe t there stands for not, guys. Okay. Next number. Eighteen. We've done our homework. We've done our homework. Okay. I'll have Shirley try number eight for 18 for us, please. We have done our homework, F. Okay. All right, perfect. Thanks, Shirley. All right, so we've done here. We have next number nineteen. There are astronauts in ISS. There are astronauts in ISS. Apostrophe R E. Linda, please. Nineteen, yeah, Miss. Yes. There are astronaut in ISSR. R. Very good. Excellent. Thanks, Linda. R. So apostrophe R E stands for. Um, R. Okay. And then continue to number 20. They haven't got bread for breakfast. They haven't got bread for breakfast. Miss Fanny, please. They haven't. They haven't got. They haven't got bread for breakfast. They have not got bread for breakfast. Very good. Thank you, Miss Fanny. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Okay. One second. So it stands for and uh, not apostrophe and apostrophe T that's for not. Okay. Next number 21. Luke doesn't like fishing. Luke doesn't like fishing. I'll have you one second. Ani, try number 21 for us, please. 
doesn't like fishing. Luke does not like fishing. Very good. Thank you, Ani. Okay, so apostrophe T, apostrophe T stands for not. Okay, see guys already doing your homework, huh? Okay, perfect. Now, number 22, my parents haven't eaten meat for one year. My parents haven't eaten meat for one year. All right, I'll have. Yusuf, try number 22, please. Yes, uh, my parents haven't eaten meat for one year. Uh, the, the answer is have not, miss. All right, not. Yes, very good. Thanks, Yusuf. Thank you. You're welcome, miss. Okay, Ms. next number, 23. Uh, Alex and Lucy's. Alex and Lucer, Lucer said as they didn't play, okay? This is rarely, okay? This is just because on the on the paper test and that's why that's, they're uh, written like that. But mm, uh, it's gonna be uh, really rare you guys gonna see like this, okay? Alex and Lucer, Lucer, Lucier said as they didn't play. Okay, number 23. Okay, let's check. Dialogue. All right, I'll have Linda try number 23 for us. 23. Alex and Lucille's said as they didn't play, are and not. Where's the not? They too, didn't oh, play. Yes. 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 Yeah, they didn't, yes, 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 yeah. you got it. Okay, very good, thanks, Linda. Thank okay. you. Very good. So it's not and are, very good. Okay, well, this is taking me a little, there you go, adjust the slides, okay, that's for not and then the R. Okay, continue to number 24. The house got a new window. The house, the house, the house, the house got a new window. The house has got a new window. All right, so let's go back. Nani, please. Mm -hmm. The house has got a new window. Okay, has got. Okay, number. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Okay, also agree. Thanks, Nani. Number 25, there's a book under the table. There's a book under the table. Miss Lily, please. There is a book under the table. Is, huh? Yeah. Is. Okay. Is it is? It's going to be on. Two column. Very good. Thank you. Column number two.
Okay, okay. The pencils on the shelf. The pencils on the shelf. Miss Fu, please. Yes, Miss. The, the pencils on the shelf. The pencil is on the shelf. The pencils. Pencils. Yes. Is on the shelf. 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 The pencils on the shelf. The pencils on the shelf. Yes, it shelf with the S H V like sh, there is a sh, like that. Shelf. Uh, shelf. Very good. Shelf. Thank shelf. You. shelf. Shelf. Okay, so that's the pencils is apostrophe uh S for the is. Okay, let's move on to number 27. That's it's Mary. Who is calling, please? It's Mary. Who is calling, please? Okay, JJ. It's Mary. Who is calling, please? It is Mary. It is. is. Yes, is. Do we have is? Yes. yes, number two also. Okay, very good. Thank you, JJ. So then you say on okay, nice. Okay, number twenty-eight. Can you give me Susan's number, please? Can you give me Susan's number, please? Okay. I'll have Yusuf try number twenty-eight. Yes, miss. Uh, can you give me Susan's number, please? Uh, the answer is uh, a possession adjective. Possessive. Possessive adjective. adjective. Yes, yes, very good. Excellent. Okay. Thanks, Yusuf. Okay, next number, the last one, okay? Um, my numbers nine eight two two one two five six eight. My numbers nine eight two two one two five six eight. Okay, number twenty nine, Mister Amin, please. My number is nine eight two two zero one two five six eight. Very it's... good. So the it's is very good. All right, so you guys understand very good on the uh, uh, contraction already, guys. Perfect. Well, uh, I didn't do the rest of it, okay, because uh, it's just to save them time. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next one is about accelerate or helping verbs, okay? Used together with the main verb, okay? Let's see the common one we had. There are have to be and do. Okay, remember when to be we have m is r for present, was and were. Okay, and then um, let's see the example here. Does Sam write all his own reports? Does here. Okay, does for the single uh subject and do for the. A plural subject, okay? So does here consider as an auxiliary verb, okay? The secretaries haven't written all the letters yet, okay? Haven't, okay? That's the uh, auxiliary verbs. Okay. Okay. Is, okay. 
Those are the uh, common one. Now, number three, Terry is writing an email to a client at the moment. Now here, look at this. This is a to be, a present to be is, okay? That's considered as an auxiliary verb. Okay, I believe you guys already uh, read this, okay? So this should be easy. Let's continue to the, this is half, okay? Can stand alone in all its tenses, okay? Also, have is a very popular substitute for the verb eat and then uh, drink. Uh, example, uh, let's have dinner. I have a toast for my breakfast. Next, we have do, okay. okay. Do, that's considered also with the, uh, uh, the past tense, okay. Do, didn't, doesn't, uh don't okay let's see sample here jerry didn't put his coffee in a cup with a lid didn't that's an auxiliary doesn't also next we have to be m is r was were okay consider we also with the uh the negative one and yeah, which one uh which is uh wasn't weren't i'm not is in okay okay and then these are the model auxiliary verbs okay uh kata kata bantu kerja modal ya i can put my may mass of two shells should will would okay let's see the Example there. Mm, of the these are all the to be, do, and have, huh? Those are the most common one, and this is the exercise here. Fill in the blank with the correct auxiliary verb from the choices presented, okay? So you guys pick the right auxiliary verb to be used with the, uh, the, the right grammar. We have 10 questions here, guys. All right, so number one, what blah, blah, blah the kids doing when you last saw them, okay? Now, what blah, blah, blah the kids doing when you last saw them, okay? Pay attention to the verb that's already being used there, okay? That's going to determine the auxiliary verb. Okay. I'll have JJ try number one for us. What blah 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 the kids doing when you last saw them? What when you last saw them, no saw, saw. Okay. So I have to pronounce it. Saw. Yes, perfect. What was the kids doing? Was means. Was okay. Eh, worry, I'm missing. What yeah. make... Okay. What? Well, what's your answer? Were. Were okay. What make you pick the word? Because Ex the kids. Okay. First, because of the kids, so you pick were right now. For yes. kids, you can also pick are. 
Why not R? Uh, because um, ini when ini ada keterangan last so them. Yes, very good. Okay, I also agree. So now look at it. Uh, uh, sentence here. When you last saw them. Okay, look this word here. So, okay, so is a past tense, okay. Uh, so if in this sentence here, so, so this, the, uh, the, the, this, the second sentence, actually, this is a combination of two sentences here, okay. The first one is, um, um you, you last saw them, and the second one is, yeah. Uh, the kids, the what uh, the kids doing, okay? Kids blah, blah, blah doing, okay? So when you combine two senses like this, uh, most of the time, if there is no other explanation of the time, then you there are there is going to be the same uh, sentence. Since this, here the sentence is using past tense, so here is going to be past tense also. Okay, so let's see. So, but we're gonna pay attention first. What blah, 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 the kids doing? Oh, okay, there is a doing here, okay? Doing here, nah, okay? Doing, so this is going to be, be doing that's going to be continuous tense, okay? Mm -hmm. Since this is a past tense, so this this grammar here is going to be past continuous tense okay since this is a past continuous tense then the answer will be were okay that's how we look at the we analyze this uh the sentence like that so let me write it here so our answer will be that what were the kids doing when you last saw them Okay, apa yang anak-anak sedang lakukan saat kamu uh, terakhir melihat mereka? Okay, very good, JJ. Thank you. Okay, so you, that's the very good explanation from JJ. You guys uh, analyze that way, okay? Let's continue to number two. Carla blah, 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 always wanted to try skydiving. Okay. Okay, hey, let's have Miss Lily try number two. Carla has always wanted to try skydiving. Very good. You got it on the spot. Okay. So, uh, can you explain a little bit for the class why you pick has, Miss Lily? Um, because the word wanted. Okay. Past tense. Okay, look. Yeah. This right here. Yes, the the word she pick is right wanted, but it's not a past tense. Okay, look, this is a past. It's it's not a past tense here. That's a past participle. Physical. That's why she pick. Yes, you pick has. Okay, if it's past tense, there is no has here. Okay, when has plus the past participle, that's gonna be uh present perfect tense. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Miss Lily. Number three, where blah, 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 you go on your summer vacation. Okay, I'll have Nani, please. Where, where are you going your summer vacation? 
Okay. Remember when you are when you use to be M is R, the verb has to be when present for present continuous. Okay, continuous is gonna be with the ing. If there is no ing, you cannot use the to be. Okay, so now the verb here is go, right? The go, there isn't any ink. So we're going to uh, eliminate were and are. Okay, look, number one, there is ink here doing. So we can use were. If there is no ink on the verb, we eliminate were and are. Okay. What now, go. Yes, go be, very, where uh, did you go mm -hmm, on your okay. summer vacancy? Yes, very good. So that's the answer. Okay, where did you go on your summer vacation? Okay, now, uh, where and are already eliminated, and then been, it's is uh. So obviously not, okay? So our uh, choices is gonna be did and does, but this is the subject is you, of course, does is gonna be eliminated. So we only have did for the answer. Very good. Thank you, Nani. Remember, okay? Um, okay. Uh, to be yes. only with the fur plus in. Okay, continuous tense. Next, number four. What do you think she blah 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 call you like she said she would she would why do you think she blah 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 call you like she said she would okay now oh, oh. I'll have Jennifer try number four for us why do you think she um, she didn't call you like she said she would. Very good. Okay, she didn't call you. Mengapa? Okay. Why didn't? Uh, why do you? What do you? Why do you think she didn't call you like what she did? Okay. Mengapa menurutmu? Um. Uh, okay, but it's, uh, what do you think is the translation? Why do you think? Menurutmu mengapa dia tidak menelponmu seperti yang uh, dia katakan? Kira-kira nah, begitu. Oke, okay? very good. Thanks, Jane. You're welcome, Miss. Number five. Mary blah 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 going to be upset when she hears what happened. Okay. Mr. Amin, please. Uh, Mary will going to be upset when she hear what happened. Okay, remember. Uh, when you use ink, okay, this is obvious here. <laughs> okay, when you use will going, yeah. When you use will with the verb ing, you need to use will be. I will be going. Oh. Okay. If you only use will, I will go. I will cook. I will be cooking. Okay. So will has to come with the be for the verb ing. Okay. Okay. Do you see the difference? I will cook. I will be cooking. Okay, so there is no will be here, right? Oh, didn't. So, I Mary didn't going to be upset when she hear what happens. Past tense. Yeah. Okay, listen. Mm, this is here is a present tense. Okay, here's right. So we're gonna use present tense now. Next one, we're gonna look at this. We're gonna look at the going here. The verb is going. Okay, that's going. So that's going to be continuous tense, right? Continuous tense, verb plus ing. Continuous mm -hmm. tense is going to be subject plus the to be, M is R. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
So your to be, this is your subject. And then this here is going to be to be. M is R. Oh, L. Mary is la. It's going. Uh. Mary is going. Uh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Because this is ing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Understand? Okay. 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 That's how Mary. we do it. Okay. Thank you. Number six. Uh, Mr. Tony, can I have a little bit time to finish? Like, uh, how many more? Four, I guess. Four numbers. Please. Okay, Miss. Okay, thank you. Number six, Jeremy, blah, 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 want to go to the movies. He wants to stay home instead. Okay. Guys, pay attention here, okay? There's a word instead. After that, we have this once that's how we're going to answer this that's the first i'm going to see the word instead second we're going to be once okay so let's see oh cool i'll have any try number six jeremy doesn't want to go to the office he wants to stay home instead very good okay Ani. Mm. Let's explain to the rest of the classmates why you pick doesn't. Because it is present tense. Present. Yes. Uh -huh. First, it's a present tense from the word once here, right? Okay. Okay. So, oh, okay. I, I add another explanation, okay? Yes. Uh, I also agree with Ani. She used doesn't. Okay, this doesn't because there's a present tense. We uh we we'll figure it out from this word once. Secondly, we use not. Well, actually, all this answer with the not. Okay, if there is okay in case okay in case if there is uh, the uh, option optional answer without not. Then we're going to look at this word instead, okay? Instead, when somebody uh, in, the, in the sentence used instead, then this is going to be the opposite, okay? Look at this. Uh, Jeremy blah, blah, blah wants to go to the movie. He wants to stay home instead, okay? Jadi... Yang kalimat kedua ini kalimat positif. He wants to go to. He wants to stay home. Okay. Now, if you use instead the first one, then it means that he doesn't want to. He he doesn't want to go. Okay. Jadi kalau ada kalimat kata instead itu dua kalimat tersebut itu pasti kalimat yang berlawanan. Bila yang satunya uh, mau uh, uh, wants to stay home the other one uh, berlawanan doesn't want to go to the movie okay that's uh well uh maybe a little bit confusing for you but uh, um, jadi intinya uh, kalau ada kata instead itu uh, penggabungan dua kalimat yang ber, uh, uh, yang bermaknanya agak ber, uh, berlawanan, oke? Okay? Tapi karena di sini sudah uh, pilihan gandanya semua memakai memakai kalimat kata not dan that's the doesn't because here is present tense, oke okay, guys? Oke, okay, let's move on to number seven then, oke? Okay? I blah 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 appreciate his jokes. They weren't funny. Okay. Okay, very good for Annie. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, it is this. Uh, Miss Fanny. Number seven, please. Yes, Miss. I, I, I haven't appreciated his jokes. I didn't appreciate his jokes. They weren't funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Appreciate. Okay, give me one second. Okay, there you go. 
I didn't appreciate his jokes. They weren't funny. Okay, repeat again, please. I didn't appreciate these jokes. They weren't funny. Very good. Okay. So, Miss Penny Pick didn't here. I also agree with her because the highlighted, the highlighted, uh, uh, the red, the red word here, okay, weren't, okay, that's which is a uh, past tense, okay. Very good. Thank you, Miss Penny. Number eight. I really like fish, but blah, I, I really like fish, but I, blah, 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 care for me. Oh, okay, Yusuf, huh? I really like fish, but I don't care for meat. Okay, very good. So this is a present tense. So we use this as a present tense also. Very good. Thank you, Yusuf. I really like fish, but I don't care for, for me. Number nine, where blah, 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 you going when I saw you last night? Mm, okay, pay attention to the tenses, guys. I want to have Nani try number one for uh, number nine. Where were you going when I saw you last night? Very good. Okay, where were you going when I saw you last night? Thanks, Anani. Number 10, Tara, blah, 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 mm -hmm. called yet. She's, she's late as usual. Okay. Number 10, I'll have Miss Lily try. Tara hasn't called, called yet. She's late as usual. Yes, so this is a, uh, what kind of tense is Miss Lily? Present perfect, perfect tense. Very good. Okay, so Miss Lily is good at present perfect tense now, huh? Okay, excellent. Thank you, Miss Lily. You're okay, welcome, Miss. So, since there is a call here, okay, that's considered could be like a past tense or past participle. We're going to look at this here. Okay, which one is gonna come uh, uh, a perfect match for that? So it's going to be hasn. So that's gonna turns to be uh present perfect, present perfect tense. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, uh grammar here. The end of the chapter eleven lesson guys okay so uh next week we'll continue with the new chapter which is chapter um, chapter 12 huh chapter 12 okay looking for a job okay guys so uh spare a little bit of your time to have a little bit uh uh looking at it material so you have an overview a little bit of it okay uh okay uh thank you for joining the class tonight guys okay it's nice to have you guys i'll see you guys next week okay until then stay healthy be happy and then thank you miss thank, thank, thank you thank you bye, bye. 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 thank you